Hi friends. I thought for a long time how to start this video and nothing else came to mind except how to tell it as it is. Without getting ahead of myself, I will say that the content of the application in question may shock you. And you may be shocked by the speed with which it conquers the minds, hearts of Generation Z. And certainly no one had such a stunning success before. Just a couple of years ago, an application designed to create and publish super short music videos gained such frenzied popularity that as of mid-2020 TikTok had over 850 million daily visits, who spent about an hour on it on average, and I think it's no longer a secret for anyone that today the network is leading in all respects and has left far behind even such giants of its business as YouTube Instagram and Facebook. Many are captivated by simplicity, indeed, after downloading the application, a real video studio appears on the phone, which allows users to shoot their videos without any effort, add filters, special effects to them, collect likes, and also follow the work of other TikTokers. Well, what exactly is the secret of this platform's success? How long will TikTok be the new trendsetter? We will talk about this today. TikTok is owned by the Chinese company ByteDance, founded by Zhang Yiming in 2012 and owning a number of popular internet services. In 2018, the Bloomberg publication recognized this startup as the most expensive in the world, overtaking even the global taxi service Uber. And Zhang Yiming himself was awarded the title of the richest businessman in the world under 40 years old. Few people know that the original TikTok program was created in China under the name Douyin. For residents of China, the application became available in September 2016, but the years of the global launch are actually considered 2017 and 2018. The prerequisite for this was the purchase of Musical.ly, a Shanghai-based company headquartered in California for $1 billion. By merging with the platform in August 2018, TikTok was able to significantly increase its audience. By this time, Musical.ly already had 90 million users, and an average of 12 million new videos are posted every day. Zhang Yiming himself, like many other billionaires, hardly speaks about his personal life. But it is known that he was born in 1983 in Fujian province, in the family of ordinary civil servants. His name is closely related to one Chinese proverb and translates to surprise everyone on the first try. 2005, the future businessman graduated from the research university in Tianjin, where he studied microelectronics and programming. There, Zhang met his girlfriend, who in the future became the wife of a man. After graduation, our hero got a job in a company that was engaged in startups, the first of which was a travel booking startup. I got a job there as an ordinary programmer, who carried a sandwich with him to work, because I did not have the money to eat in a cafe. After a year of work, I was entrusted with the management of the personnel, said Zhang. Well, the most important thing was not promotion at all. But the fact that this job gave him sales skills, which he then successfully developed at ByteDance. I remember at the end of 2007 I went to a meeting with a client with our sales director, Zhang recalled. Then I sat with my mouth open in surprise. For the first time in my life, I learned what sales are and how to sell well. Actually, this greatly helped the man when he already opened his own company. Well, before that it was still far away. After several years of successful work in his first job, Zhang has established himself as a successful startup and programmer with a bright future. And therefore, his appearance at Microsoft did not surprise anyone. At Microsoft, Zhang worked on developing a mobile app whose unique feature was its support for artificial intelligence. But by 2012, when our hero was only 29, he had thoughts about his own product. It is worth saying that by that time Zhang had already managed to earn his first million and many are already stopping at this. After all, it seems that there is enough money and the job is good. But Zhang understood that he still had his whole life ahead of him, and he no longer wanted to fulfill other people's whims, to translate other people's thoughts into reality. This is how ByteDance appeared in 2012, which is now valued at $75 billion and is considered the most expensive private company in the world. ByteDance owns several Chinese social apps, but the most interesting thing is how Zhang was able to come to this. The first product released by ByteDance was Tao Xiao, a news aggregator. 
Zhang wanted to create a news platform powered by artificial intelligence. And most importantly, regardless of the Chinese search engine Baidu, which is China's number one, the basic idea was that there were no journalists on ByteDance's staff. We are more of a search engine or social platforms. We are doing very innovative work and we are not trying to copy any American product or their technology, Zhang said. This was his first independent brainchild. Well, let's move a little back in time and remember the Musical.ly application, which Zhang Yiming bought a few years later. The app's first working title was Chikata. And the goal of the platform is to educate users through incredibly long 5-minute educational videos. Initially, according to experts and Zhang's freedoms, the idea was not thought out for several reasons. The first is not the interest of the audience, and the second is the complexity of content production. It was very difficult to find experts, but it was even more difficult to fit their thoughts into 5 minutes. Actually, in this regard, there were huge risks, and the story of TikTok would probably be different, or none of it would have been if the observant Zhang hadn't come up with a story one day. Returning home from the store, a man saw schoolchildren on the street grimacing to music, taking pictures and posting it all on the internet. After a little thought, he decided that at the moment there is nothing like that except for the usual social networks. Actually, this is how a karaoke application appeared, where a user can record a 15-second clip with a soundtrack and upload it to a separate network. On the day of the official launch of the application, only 500 people used it, mostly friends, employees and people interested in promoting it. Of course, the key issue was increasing the audience, and here Zhang's team worked very competently. In each video posted on platforms and other social networks, the application logo with the site address automatically appeared. Thus, all re-uploads on YouTube and videos that went beyond the aisles of the application were tagged about the original source. This is how the first stars such as Selena Gomez, Morgan Taylor, Jason Derulo and many others came to the app. Well, only the developer did not stop there, and the new features allowed you to create duets with your favorite stars. In general, the application was different from those that were already available. For example, on Facebook or Twitter, a person could write serious things during the day and convey their thoughts, and in the evening publish short funny scenes from their lives on a new platform. All videos were laid back in nature, more positive and entertaining. Even popular stars could be ridiculous and funny there, which cannot be said about other social networks. All this allowed the application to cross the mark of 100 million users in just one year. Since the company worked on artificial intelligence algorithms, all recommendations were generated automatically and depended on preferences. For this, many factors are taken into account. Behavior, interests of a person and his activity. The platform has evolved gradually. In 2017, the application expanded beyond China, appearing in the United States, Europe and, of course, Asia. More than 30 million people actively use TikTok in the US. Video hosting is also popular in Turkey, Russia, Mexico, Brazil, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, France, Germany, Egypt, Italy, England, Spain and Poland. In each of these countries, there are more than 5 million active TikTok customers today. The service came to the vastness of Russian-speaking countries through re-uploading video to other services. 1,000 selections with millions of views on YouTube and reloads from TikTok. But TikTok is one of the most popular platforms for several more reasons. First, the app has brought success to many artists whose songs have gone viral. It is worth noting, however, that artists do not receive any royalties for the use of their track. The same goes for various memes and jokes. On August 6, 2020, Forbes released its first TikTok highest paid stars ranking, which peaked at $5 million in 12 months from June 2019 to June 2020. As for the application logo, at first glance, the logo is straightforward. It is represented by a combined emblem combining both graphic and text components. But at the same time it speaks for itself. A schematically depicted note, according to other sources the letter D, denoting one of the sounds of music and an inscription. They shout with all their appearance that it will be fun here and that it is fun to do with music. 
Of course, TikTok has gotten into scandalous stories more than once. In December 2019, the Department of State, in collaboration with the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, banned military personnel from using TikTok on their personal mobile devices. The reason was the collection of personal information of users by the creators of the application. No specific evidence of theft or illegal processing of personal data from the U.S. government has been presented. But TikTok had to pay a $6 million fine for processing personal data of individuals under the age of 14. A similar situation was encountered in India. TikTok has been listed as unsafe apps in China by the Indian authorities. In general, TikTok is the apotheosis of clip thinking, an endless string of short bright music videos that instantly grab your attention, 15 seconds and swipe up 15 seconds and swipe up, and when you look at your watch and you realize that you have been sitting like this for more than an hour, social media analysts have come to the conclusion that TikTok is so popular for the following reasons, maximum simplicity, variety of multimedia tools, light entertainment content that gives positive emotions, and the opportunity to become a star on TikTok for absolutely everyone, and what is important, in TikTok, you have the opportunity to receive coverage and absolutely free, on other online platforms, the number of views is high only for those bloggers that many people follow. Here, each video is displayed to a large audience, therefore, even a user who has just registered and posted just one video can get 1 million views and 1000 likes. Zhang Yiming himself says little about the success of TikTok and believes that his team should continue to work hard. Interestingly, the founder of TikTok only watched the video for a very long time, but after a while, he himself began to record video clips. We decided that all team members should create videos on TikTok and get likes for it. If there are not enough hearts, the employee does push-ups. In mid-June 2020, the Financial Times reported that the White House was considering blacklisting TikTok to avoid transmitting personal data of U.S. citizens to China. And on July 3, 2020, former U.S. President Donald Trump has announced that the TikTok app will stop operating in the U.S. from September 15, 2020, unless Microsoft or any other American company buys it. On August 7, the Senate of Congress approved a bill to ban the TikTok app, and Donald Trump signed a decree prohibiting any transactions with TikTok owner by dance. Negotiations on the purchase of the American segment of TikTok with the Chinese company ByteDance in August 2020 were held by the American corporation Microsoft. The American company Twitter also held preliminary negotiations on a possible merger. But the head of Google, Sundar Pichai, ruled out the possibility of buying TikTok by his company right away. It was such a tasty morsel for the new owners, which opened up great prospects that preliminary negotiations for the acquisition of the TikTok application in the United States, Canada, Australia and New Zealand were ruled by the American software corporation Oracle. But Zhang Yiming demanded nearly $30 billion for American TikTok, and even in spite of the fact that the American representatives considered this cost too high, but later the deal took place. On September 13, ByteDance refused Microsoft to buy the U.S. segment of TikTok and selected Oracle in partnership with Walmart as the buyer. According to media reports, another unofficial Trump condition was the transfer of $5 billion by Oracle and Walmart to an American charitable educational foundation. TikTok's offices are currently located in Los Angeles and New York, London, Paris, Moscow, Berlin, Dubai, Mumbai, Jakarta, Seoul and Tokyo, and the application itself has more than 1 billion users from 150 countries. In China, where the app is most popular, 60% of users are between the ages of 25 and 44. And outside of China, 43% of users are over 24 years old. Psychologists say that, on average, a person dives headlong into one online platform for no longer than two years. Then he wants to add variety and switch to something else. As for the Russian-speaking segment, Odniklasniki has long lost its former popularity. And on Vkontakt, monotonous content is published that does not cause enthusiasm. Facebook is still holding its position, but users are gradually leaving it, and the only one who is still popular on Instagram. I'm just sure that most of those who watch this video most likely do not consider themselves to be in the category of people who find this service interesting and useful. After all, 
The main hate in relation to TikTok is based on pointlessness, to put it bluntly, 15 second videos with intrusive music, dancing and antics, incomprehensible flash mobs and aggressive advertisements. Where is the world heading? YouTube educates, educates and entertains. Twitter is used by presidents and leaders. Instagram belongs to stars and mere mortals. Well, the thing is, friends, that at the age of 20 to 25 we already feel too old and conservative for the young TikTok, which has endless fun and laughs 15 seconds billion times a day. But don't be surprised, after all, unfortunately or fortunately, but now this is how the world looks. As for the founder, his fortune today is estimated at $32 billion, and the company's value is $75 billion, and of course, these numbers are growing every day, at least a few million dollars for the time you watch this video. But in general, the story of this internet entrepreneur once again proves the fact that in order to create something big, you do not need to have a lot of money. First of all, you need a head on your shoulders and an understanding of how to use it correctly. Friends, write your opinion. And how do you personally feel about TikTok and the history of its creation in general? Well, that's all for today. Rate the video. Write your comment.